Hello, I'm Elle and welcome back to my ethical fashion YouTube channel. If you're new here, I upload weekly. Feel free to subscribe and turn on your post notifications in today's video. We're diving into how rental companies, especially newly, benefit from the rising demand of sustainability. But here's a twist, these companies are also deeply tied to fast fashion. And so we must ask how sustainable clothing rentals really are, especially when the clothing rental market is expected to be worth over 3.5 billion by 2028. No wonder fast fashion giants are jumping on the trend. So let's unpack the complexities of the rental model, its implications on the planet and how sustainable rentals really are. So first, Let's talk about fast fashion. These mofos are churning out new styles at a lightning speed to keep up with the latest trends. But this comes at a huge cost, both to the workers and the environment. Fast fashion is responsible for significant pollution, waste, and exploitation in the supply chain. And the constant demand for new clothing drives over production and overconsumption. So in response, we the consumers are increasingly turning to more sustainable options, duh. So we're demanding transparency, we're looking for ways to reduce our environmental footprint like we are doing the work and this has given rise to alternative models like secondhand shopping and of course clothing rentals and rental fashion has even infiltrated luxury and designer markets given us who are interested in designer pieces and we're always trying to keep up everything is so fast-paced in the fashion industry with all the trends so rentals really allows us to get the benefits of having new clothing without paying full price but how does the clothing rental model really work well it's pretty simple so you pay a subscription subscription fee and in return you get access to a rotating wardrobe basically. So you wear the clothes, you return them and then you get new clothes again without the guilt of buying new. The prices, the return dates, the brands, they all are different depending on the rental company but for the most part rental services are marketed as sustainable. It's a good solution they say. They give us a way to experiment with different styles without contributing to all the waste that's in fast fashion but I just wonder is this really the answer to the issues in the fashion industry? So I recently saw an article about Newly. They've had a lot of rising success from sustainability. They're a rising rental service, but they're owned by Urban Outfitters, which is some company that also owns Anthropology and Free People. Newly actually charges $98 a month to borrow six items and you can pay $20 for each additional item. Newly sends you the six items in a soft sided container, which includes a prepaid return shipping label so you don't have to worry about packaging. Then you return it before the month is up so you can pick out six new items items or you can return it or pause your account until you need some new things. If you end up liking anything, they can give you the things for a discount. But it was recently reported that Newly saw more than 50% annual sales growth for the first quarter that ended April 30th. They have more than 224,000 subscribers, which is up by 45% from last year. And they're just really, really growing at a rapid scale. They were saying that they particularly target millennials and Gen Z, us who are discovering, you know, trendy pieces want cool things but one thing that I read was from a guy called Stefan Curtis he's a research at Sweden's Lund University and has termed this rental services as a practice called share washing which is when an access based model like Newly can make you consume more because it makes it good more accessible but that only feeds into the problem in the fashion industry even if these services seem to refresh our wardrobe without buying new clothes yeah there is a paradox there because while Newly promotes sustainability in the fashion industry, right? Its parent company is a fast fashion brand, but it's interested in sustainable fashion at the same time. And I just kind of wonder if Newly is really a solution or just a clever way for a fast fashion brand to get access to our desires to reduce clothing waste. There's really no way to know because I don't know what they're doing with the profit from Newly. I don't know if it's really going to sustainability causes or they just are profiting from sustainable fashion. I mean, Newly also doesn't have the responsibility to donate its money or provide the money to legislation or initiatives. But one interesting thing that I saw was that in February 2024, Newly opened up one of its new 600,000 square foot fulfillment center in Raymore, Missouri. But this is not the only news. Investing 60 million in two phases of work over the next five years to build a second Newly fulfillment center and laundry service in Kansas City. And guess what? This is expected to create 750 jobs over the next five years and will provide the company with the capacity to triple its active subscriber base. And they're also working with zero waste designers to create sustainable fashion collections, which are then rented at Newly's site. However, we can't forget that Urban 
Outfitters has spent at least $100 million on Newly to make the brand affordable, more laid back. It has provided them with branding and it's all to target younger, less affluent customers, which is Gen Z and millennials. But let's be real, it feels pretentious to complain about people using clothing rental services, okay? Especially when the demand for rental fashion has surged during and after the pandemic. Many of us have become more aware of our spending habits throughout isolation and exposure to just rising costs. And while inflation and economic turbulence is whirling around us, we have started to make a lot more smarter financial choices. So renting clothing has now continued to be a way for us to afford life, wear new styles, get a variety of outfits, especially when we need cool clothing for special occasions. Yet, it also introduces something called the Givens paradox slash Givens effect, which is when the tech progress increases the efficiency of a resource to reduce the amount for any one use of it. So even if there is a huge demand for the resource, then the rate of the consumption increases because of it. In terms of fast fashion, what we're talking about in terms of rental services, the more efficient rental models become, it leads to an increased circulation of clothing, which then boosts the use of each piece, which is good. But while this can reduce the environmental impact for items, it may also drive higher consumption for styles and for clothing. So Newly, owned by Urban Outfitters, needs to ramp up production to meet the demand for new styles, hence their new facilities in Missouri and Kansas City. So overall, the demand in the system increases the demand for models and for more consumption. I don't know if that's good for the planet or not, but I think we end up with solutions that just make things worse. I don't really think rental models are the sole solutions to sustainability or for all the considerations we need to think about for fast fashion, but it does provide jobs, local jobs, right? 750 jobs to be exact. But final takeaways, personally, I think clothing rentals can be a step in the right direction. They're not an answer or catch-all to fast fashion, obviously, but yeah, look at our world. I know we want the best deals on clothing and everything else honestly given the rising expensive things and the costs yeah i wonder whether it is impactful for our personal lives to rent versus you know buying what we can buy and cherish for years and if we rent everything it may just reinforce the idea that clothing is you know just Disposable and meant to be cycled out of our closet. And also makes me question what clothing makes sense to buy versus renting, especially because the main perk of renting clothing services is finding and trying new styles and accessible otherwise. And I can see that it can reduce unnecessary purchases. Like yeah, rental companies can allow us to reduce, you know, the guilt of trying new things and then discarding them because we just didn't end up liking them. Also time constraints for rentals can serve as an unconventional reminder of of the value of clothing and can reduce waste because we cherish it when we do have it. Yeah, I can't help but imagine having the six items in my house and then returning them. I'm an emotional person and get attached to material things and I think that it's not normal. Like I like my things to be part of my life, reflecting, you know, my authentic needs and desires. So to see things as temporary would not be normal you know, at least for me. But I have a feeling that the reason clothing rentals lead to overconsumption, as reports have indicated, is because most of us end up wanting to keep the things that we're renting for the same reason. Like we all have feelings, we all get attached as we naturally should. Yet it reminds me that teens aren't wearing outfits more than once if it has appeared on social media and often discard or return to clothing very frequently. And they have also been trained to see clothing as disposable, as a low commitment purchase, as trash to be tossed out as a cheap waste product you know something that's plastic based that is untailored to their body basically blind to what good quality clothing looks like and i'm gen z and i feel like a lot of other people outside of gen z also don't know what good fashion is either and finally like commodification is fast fashion we have just been handed things over and over again without knowing how much work it takes to make it. So overall, yeah, I just feel like Urban Outfitters is benefiting from apathy, from wastefulness. Fast fashion wants us to consume what they think is trendy and desirable, let's be honest. And I know younger generations aren't used to holding on to these things and are just trying to keep up with trends and what's popular at all times. It's a lot. To wrap up this video, clothing rentals are set to grow even more in the coming years. Most brands are likely going to enter the space, 
offer consumers an ever-increasing array of options. And as consumers, we must remain informed and critical about progress. And we need to ensure that the services we support align with our values in a genuine and authentic way that actually contributes to a more sustainable future. We don't deserve for more brands to sell us more things that we don't need and to expose us to more unnecessary clothing items, especially when there are reports where rental companies target teenagers because they can't afford to wear the latest brands at full price, but can still avoid FOMO by using rental services. Honestly, what we need, in my opinion, is more social equity and human rights in the creation of clothing and the consumption of clothing and also the disposal of clothing. And we also cannot believe the claims of these clothing rentals, especially given the lack of studies or reports proving their claims of sustainability. This is especially relevant when analysts project that newly will add $1 billion in value to Urban Outfitters within the next three to five years. But yeah, what do you think? Are rental services the future of sustainable fashion or are they just another marketing strategy to make money? Let me know in the comments and feel free to subscribe and turn on your post notifications. I make content on ethical fashion. See you in my next video. Peace and love, L.